Welcome to One Minute with Manny Mill. Our format is simple. We'll let our Heavenly Father begin today's conversation by reading from his word, and then we'll respond in prayer, using that scripture as the foundation for our praises, confessions, and petitions. Let's go and read together Psalm 24, verses 3 to 6. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and pure heart. Who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully? He shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. O oh, Father, what an amazing portion of a scripture this is. Father, we all guilty. We don't qualify. We all have worship idols. We don't have clean hands. We don't have a pure heart, but Christ, but Jesus Christ. That's why we are Christians, because there's only one person in history that has ever lived who had and has pure hands, who has pure heart, who was able to measure to the standard that you, Father, require of righteousness, you require a 10. And Jesus came with a 10 and maintained a 10 and gave us the victory that we could not have for ourselves. He indeed defeated sin forever. Oh, Father, sin could not hold them. The tomb, Father, could not take him down. Oh, Father, sin could not touch him. The tomb could not hold him down. But, Father, we are so grateful that he now has transferred to us his righteousness. And because of that, Father, we know that we are in because of Christ. We are in with you forever. Our name has been written into the book of life, Father, to spend with you eternity forever and ever like Jesus is now along with the Holy Spirit and all the same from every tribe, from every nation, Father, for your colorful bride will one day come home with you, Father. Oh, Father, we love you. We thank you for the great hope and the picture that you give us here that we don't qualify apart from knowing Christ. So therefore, Father, help us to live for Jesus and for him alone and to proclaim him and him alone in this era where people need to know Christ more than ever before, we pray in Jesus' name and the power of your spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Manny. Today's passage has many deep truths we hope you will take time to dig out further on your own. An important question is asked, who can stand before God? At first reading of verse 4, it may appear that we have to do something in order to be in God's presence, for it says, those with clean hands and a pure heart. This is an impossible standard. But oh, look again at verse 5. Here we are told that the one who stands before God has received blessing and righteousness from God himself. The Apostle Paul reminded believers of this very truth when he wrote his letter to the Ephesians, saying, But God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, for by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Friend, Take time today to consider if you can stand before God, and does your answer line up with what is taught in the Bible? If you would like more information about this, please give us a call at 630-221-9930 or send us an email to prayer at khnm.net.